Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So today's video is in continuation to Azure Synapse Analytics Play series and this is part 8 in that. And today I have a really very interesting topic. So uh, today we are going to see how we can link our Power BI workspace to the Synapse workspace. So this has two parts associated to it. So the part one is basically when you have your data inside a SQL pool, uh, when you have your data set inside Synapse and you want to create a Power BI report out of it, right? So this is the part one. And when I say part two, it is basically when you have your data set, when you have your report inside Azure, inside Power BI and you want to integrate it with the Synapse and you want to build your report uh, in Synapse using Power BI with the data set that is present in Power BI or you want to modify the report which is already you have developed in Power BI and you want to integrate it with Synapse. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. But before moving on, I'm assuming that you have Power BI workspace, you have a data set, uh, you have a Power BI report or you also, in case you are watching my series, then in that case, you will already have an Azure Synapse workspace created to do this. And you must be having the data set as well, because I'm going to use the same data set, New York Taxi data set, which I have been using in my previous videos as well. So guys, let's go ahead and see how to do this. So now I am in the Synapse workspace. This is the same workspace which we have been working on in from our past videos in our all hands on session. We have been working on this workspace. So if you go on the right hand left hand side, you can see this manage toolbox option. If you click on this option, you have an option of external connection to the link service. Now, what is this link service? Link service is just a connection string. So when I say connection string, uh, it will when you when you talk about connecting Power BI to Synapse, you need to provide a link service. You need to provide a connection. So that connection is link service. So let's go ahead and click on new. And since we are connecting to Power BI, let's search for the Power BI connector. And here we go. And let's click on continue. So now when I talk about this uh, link service creation, you have to first name it. We are going to name it as Power BI Workspace Three and we have to provide a tenant and then the workspace name. Now this workspace name is same workspace which I have already created in Power BI. So I have a workspace in Power BI where I have my data set, where I have my report. So same workspace name I'm going to provide here because my idea is to whatever I have in my Power BI workspace, I should link it here. I should be able to use the same data set over here. I should be able to build reports over the same data set. I should be able to edit my report. Right. So for that, let's go ahead and select the workspace name over here. So now I have selected the workspace name. But remember one point here. Now uh, your Synapse and your Power BI, they have to be in the same tenant for this link service to work. So link service does not work cross tenant. So this is something that you need to remember. So let's go ahead and create the Power BI link service and now let's publish it publishing is nothing as i explained in my previous video it is just saving nothing else so while it is publishing let's go to the left hand side let's go to the develop option over here now we have the link service created and i hope you can see the change over here right i'll quickly zoom uh, now i guess till now you will be able to see the change we have created a link service power bi workspace 3 and we have it over here, right? So we have this link service over here. Let's go ahead and open it. So once I open it, you can see that I have Power BI report and I have Power BI data set. I have both the things over here right now. So let's go ahead and see Power BI data set. So this data set is same as what I have in my Power BI. So if I go to my Power BI account, I actually have uh, the workspace. You know, uh, I have this workspace, I have a data set, I have a report over here, the same data set I can actually see over here, right? So now my success, uh, my connection is successful, I have linked it, I can view my data set and report, now what else? Now if you hover over this option, you can actually see it says new Power BI report, let me try to zoom as well. So using this data set, you can create a new Power BI report. Right. And remember that this data set is a read only data set. You cannot edit it. You can use it. You can create Power BI report out of it, but you cannot edit it. This data set has been 
created in Power BI, right? So you have to go over there to edit it. Now, uh, coming on to the Power BI report, since I have already created a Power BI report, so let's go ahead and click and see whether we are able to visualize the report over here or not. And yes, we can visualize the report. So this is the report. If I want to edit it, I can go ahead and edit it. Let me zoom in now. So on the right hand side, you can see this is the data set, right? So this is the data set and uh, using this data set, I can edit my report as well. So this is how basically you go ahead and link your uh, Power BI to uh, Synapse. So this is one part of it. Now, second part is um, we have data in Synapse and we want to build reports out of it, Power BI reports out of it. In that case, uh, let's go ahead to the data tab first because this is the demo data which I have been talking about uh, in my previous video. So I have created a dedicated SQL pool and uh, I have loaded the data into these two tables in my previous video. So now we are going to use this and create a Power BI report out of it. So for that, let's go ahead and create a new Power BI data set, right? So when you click on this new Power BI data set, what happens is uh, right now I have only one SQL pool. So I have one data set right so uh, that is why it is showing me only one option yeah, in case you have multiple it will show you multiple options so you can actually go ahead and download the file now this file is the data set so this file will have the data set of these two tables demo and new york taxi trip and uh, once you have downloaded this you can simply go ahead and open this now you can see if i go to my power bi desktop it is actually trying to connect to my uh, it is trying to take my credential. It is trying to connect to the server. It is trying to connect to my SQL pool. And I have already provided uh, the credentials from my SQL pool. But I would like to mention that uh, once you open this and once you try to connect it to Power BI, it will ask you for SQL pool connections. So you have to be very clear with the connections part. So let's go ahead and see from where you can provide the connections. So when you actually open your Azure portal, right, in that case, uh, uh, Azure portal and basically the synapse, uh, when you open it, you have your dedicated pool created. I've shown it in my previous videos that, yes, you create a dedicated pool and it actually shows up that this is the dedicated pool. You just click on that particular dedicated pool in the portal and on the left hand side, there is an option of connection strings. So this is the uh, this is the place where you can actually go ahead and check your connection string, your username, your password. You can even restore your password over here. So this is the place to find the connection strings. I don't want to open it right now. So let's go back. After providing the connection strings, you have the options to choose from the table. So right now, let's say we have these two tables and I want to choose only one. You can go ahead and choose those tables and let Let's click on load. So once I click on load, I have option, uh, normal option like import or direct query. I'm going to use direct query. When you click on import, it actually takes your whole data itself. So let's click on direct query and click on OK. So now basically I will, um, it will connect my data set to Power BI. I will be able to see my data set inside Power BI and build reports out of it. So if you see on the right hand side, you have this demo and NYC taxi data set, right? So this is the same data set that we have been working on in our previous videos. Now, let's say I want to create a report out of it. Let's say I'm creating a line chart. So I have this line chart. I'll bring it in the middle. And so I have this passenger count. Let's say I bring it to the axis. And then let's say I have this average trip distance. I bring it to the values and then I have sum of trip distance. I bring it to the secondary value, right? So this is, uh, let's say we have created this uh, line chart or the line plot. Now we can actually go ahead and publish it. So now let's go ahead and uh, we are trying to save it. We are trying to publish it. So when we are trying to publish it, let's name it something. Let's name it test 01 file and then let's save it. So once you start saving it, it will actually ask you for the workspace in which workspace you want to save it, right? So you have to actually select a workspace which is already linked to your synapse. So right now for us, 
so previously we linked one workspace so same workspace i'm linking it right now and you can see that i'm publishing my changes as well right so once it gets published i can actually see this report in synapse as well so now basically you can see that publishing has been successful that means that it has successfully published my report to synapse as well so now uh, i i i chose the you know power bi workspace 3 basically so uh, it's the same workspace which i linked earlier so with the same workspace i'm trying to link link it now let's go ahead and refresh it so once i refresh it you can actually see this test 01 right so this is the data set that has come and this is the same data set and let's check whether the report has been published or not and yes our report has been published so let's click on this test 01 and see whether we are able to see our report or not it takes some time to refresh so you can basically see it is loading um, it is loading the line chart and here we go so basically this is how you can uh, now uh, visualize uh, you know uh, and you if you want to in fact work on it more you want to edit it you can go ahead and edit it so this is what i wanted to explain in this video so both the sides right how we can connect our data which we have in synapse Uh, how we can use the data set that we have in synapse and create power bi reports out of it and how we can use the data set that we have in power bi and link it to synapse so both the ways i have explained to you in case you are facing any issues or you have any errors do let me know in the comment section i will respond back to it and thank you so much for watching till here and do remember to share like and subscribe to my channel thank you so much